friends, my name is Shelly Pelcher. I am an emergency management specialist with the NIMS implementation branch, which is part of the National Preparedness Directorate at FEMA headquarters in Washington, D.C. Presently, I'm deployed to Philadelphia to assist the city, um, the FEMA Region 3, as well as the Department of Defense as part of the federal vaccination site at the Philadelphia Convention Center. It has been a truly phenomenal experience to date. And um, part of the reason is because of the public information officer, the public health, public safety um, officers, getting the right message out to the public um, and ensuring that we get as many Philadelphians um, vaccinated in the most safe, efficient manner as possible, which leads me to why I'm here today, virtually talking to you. Um, part of the Inspire Summit. So I had the pleasure of being the project officer for the revision of the NIMS uh, basic guidance for public information officers document. Um, this document superseded the 2007 version. So as you can imagine, when you think about from 2017 to the release of the document just prior to the pandemic, what has happened as far as technology, um, multimedia content, social media, um, and digital content. I had the pleasure of working with subject matter experts from state, local, tribal, territorial, private sector, and nonprofit organizations to ensure that we provided the most efficient um, document uh, and adaptable guidance for um, any, anyone's jurisdiction. So basically, what's new? So the NIMS Basic and Guidance for PIOs um, includes key updates that reflected changes in approach, strategy, technology, and training. Um, some of the highlights include the role of the PIOs in the Joint Information Centers, Emergency Operation Centers, and uh, multi-agency coordination groups. It's not just you know the Incident Command Structure, or ICS. That is just not that is not the only way to um, that emergencies are responded to. We realize that the PIOs are part of all of these types of structures. So in addition to that, uh, we address digital communication and social media engagement information and a, um, an eight part strategic, strategic communication model in which each jurisdiction can adapt as part of their crisis communication plan. And, um, really important, especially towards um, the way we are uh, training is evolving during the pandemic, we have suggested Emergency Management Institute training for PIOs. Um, and realizing that we're not quite sure when or ever if things are going to get back to normalcy, when we can be in training again, um, the EMI has adapted their training um, in a virtual environment just so we people aren't just sitting and waiting to get credentialed and certified. So we appreciate your continued support. Um, as with any document that we produce at FEMA, this document did go out for a 30-day national engagement period after the draft was reviewed by subject matter experts from various organizations. And then any comments we received were also adjudicated by um, our partners before this document was finally released. So I hope everyone um, is staying safe and um, we appreciate the effort that all of you are making to get everyone happy and healthy. And um, please, anytime, if you have any questions about the document or any other items that we are working on um, at FEMA, feel free to um, send an email to fema-nims at fema.dhs.gov. Um, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you.